In this and the next video, we focus on binding free energy between a transmembrane protein and ligands in a membrane system. This video covers absolute ligand binding between a GPCR adenosine A2A receptor with PDBID 3PWH and three ligands from the published paper. On the RCSB page for this protein, you can see a binding agent, ZMA. We will only use this ZMA as a reference for the positioning of our ligands. Note that the OPM PDB file does not contain TER records between atom and hetatom records. Because of this, CharmGUI often fails to recognize ligand molecules. If you want to use OPM files, you should manually insert a TER in appropriate places, and then upload this modified version. For this reason, only the RCSB option for the download source is allowed for free energy calculator with bilayer. Instead, the PPM server option in step 2 can be used to obtain oriented protein coordinates with respect to the membrane normal, allowing ligands in the crystal structure. If you are not familiar with Membrane Builder, please first watch the Membrane Builder video demos and Amber Force Field video demos 1 and 3 to learn how to use Membrane Builder. To get started, go to Input Generator and find Absolute Ligand Binder in the Free Energy Calculator submenu. Change the system type from Solution to Bilayer. You can upload your own structure or enter an RCSB ID. In this demo, we enter RCSB ID 3PWH and then click Next. Here, we see the change that were identified by PDB Reader. Once we check that the protein with ZMA is loaded, click Next. The crystal structure 3PWH has missing residues in the middle of its sequence. Thus, they should be modeled for a successful MD run. Check whether the disulfide bonds are defined correctly. When everything looks correct, click Next to begin PDB manipulation. Make sure to save your job ID to allow checking your job progress with Job Retriever or returning to earlier steps to modify your options. On the Orientation Options page, we should note that the RCSB structure is not properly aligned for a membrane whose normal is along the z-axis and whose center is at z equals zero. We can check the Use PPM Server option to position this GPCR in a bilayer, then click Next. On this page, we can check the calculated cross-sectional area along the z-axis. Make sure to click View Structure to ensure that the protein was properly positioned within the membrane. In this demo, we will use a homogeneous POPC bilayer with X and Y lengths of 70 angstroms. Type 1 for the upper and lower leaflet ratios in the POPC section. Click the Show the System Info button to confirm the system size and the number of lipids in the upper and lower leaflet. Then click Next. On this page, we should view the oriented GPCR and the protein lipid packing model. We can change the ion concentration on this page, but for our purpose, the default values are acceptable, so we continue by clicking Next. On this page, we can see whether the generated system has any lipid or protein surface penetration. If it does not, then click the Next button. On the Membrane Assembly page, click Next to combine the oriented protein structure, water box, ions, and lipids into a single system. When assembly is complete, we can begin the steps for ligand binding. Notice the options for uploading or drawing ligand structures, which you should remember from the previous videos. For this demo, we will upload three undocked MOL2 ligand files for the compounds named 1125A and 25B. These ligands were chosen from this perturbation map that was published by this paper. In this map, the compounds 32 and 41 have a different core scaffold because of this significant difference between the reference structure ZMA in the G-protein coupled receptor with PDB ID 3PWH and the compounds 32 and 41, they cannot be positioned by using the ZMA reference structure in the original PDB. The current positioning scheme is based on the maximum common subgraph algorithm. Thus, the ligand 32 and 41 should be pre-docked before uploading. You can download the components we use by clicking the link in the video description. Again, please remember that if you upload ligands that are very different from the reference ligand, the positioning may be inaccurate. Thus, to use dissimilar ligands, you must pre-dock the ligands in the protein binding site, then click the option indicating that the ligands are already docked. Once the structures are selected, click the Next button to see free energy perturbation options. Most options on this page are identical to the options in the Absolute Ligand Binder for Solution Systems video demo. 
We choose Genesis in this video, and for Genesis, the RMSD and non-restraint options are not supported. On the final page, we see instructions for running the free energy calculations. Make sure to read them carefully. In the downloaded project archive, notice that there is a number for each like and binding system in the folder named Genesis. Each of these subdirectories contains a complex and ligand directory containing the membrane protein ligand complex and ligand only systems, respectively. 